my dog is called uh, Optimum Distance Flag Boat and Singer Group, and it's a joint work with one of my supervisors, Charo Soler Escriba, uh, who is also in the audience. Um, flag codes were introduced a few years ago by Liebhold, Neve, and Vázquez Castro as a generalization of uh, constant dimension codes. So let me give some prelimin preliminaries on constant dimension code and flag codes as follows. Uh, let me consider Q a prime power and the um, finite field FQ of Q elements. And uh, in integers K and N, uh, we can consider the Grassmannian of dimension K or the Grassmann variety of dimension K of FQ to the N, which is the set of K dimensional vector subspaces of FQ to the N. Similarly, if we consider an increasing sequence of uh, positive integers T1 to TR, a flag of type capital T is a sequence of subspace, uh, subspaces of FQ to the N that are nested and uh, whose dimensions are given in the type vector. Then the flag variety of type capital T is just a set of flags of this type on FQ to the N. These two um, varieties, the Grassmannian and the flag variety, can be seen as metric spaces by using uh, respective uh, distances. In case of working with subspaces of dimension k of fq to the n, their subspace distance is given by this expression, and a constant dimension code in this Grassmannian is just an empty subset, an empty collection of subspaces of the same dimension k. Here, the minimum distance of a constant dimension code is uh, given as the minimum of the distances between different subspaces in my code, and when we work with flags, we have another distance, the flag distance computed as a sum of subspace distances, and the flag code is just an empty collection of flags of the given type vector. Here, the minimum distance of flag code is given as the minimum of the flag distances between uh, different code words in my code, that in this case are flags. Okay, observe that when we work with flag codes of length one, we are uh, indeed working with uh, constant dimension codes of dimension T1, but in general, if we, if we work with uh, flag codes of longer lengths, lengths R uh, greater than one, given a flag code of any type, T1 to TR, we can define a collection of a constant dimension codes given as follows. The I projected code of my flag code C is just a set of subspaces, subspaces of flags in my code. And this is a constant dimension code of dimension TI for every, for every I uh, between one and R. Um, moreover, we can consider the possibility of constructing codes, subspace codes and flag codes as orbits of some group. And to do so, we, can, we, we need to define a, a, an action. In case of working with subspaces, it's well known that the general linear group acts transitively on this Grassmannian via this action. And then we can define orbit codes, orbit subspace codes, being just uh, orbits of some subspace under the action of a certain subgroup of the general linear group. And this orbit uh, subspace code has associated a stabilizer subgroup, which is just the, the stabilizer of, uh, of the action. So the group of matrices are fixing the starting subspace. In case of working with flags, the general linear group also acts transitively on every flag variety via this expression. Here we consider the action for flags and here the action for subspaces. And uh, we can define orbit flag codes are flag, uh, sorry, an, as orbits of its action. So the orbit flag code generated by a given flag under the action of a certain subgroup H is just this set. Here we have also a stabilizer subgroup, the stabilizer of this starting flag F under the action of this H, but observe that the projected codes of an orbit flag code are again orbit constant dimension codes. So associated to a flag code, we uh, have a stabilizer of the flag, but also the stabilizer of all the subspaces in the flag. And they satisfy this nice relationship. Well, if we talk about constant dimension codes attaining the maximum possible distance, we must speak about spread codes, a k spread of FT to the N, is a constant dimension code of dimension k such that every non-zero vector in this vector space lies on one and only one subspace in the spread. It is well known that k spread codes exist if and only if k is a divisor of n, and in that case, the distance of any k spread is to k twice the dimension 
which is the maximum possible distance for a subspace code of dimension k. And the um, cardinality of any k spread is this quotient, which is also the maximum possible size among codes of dimension k on a FQDN having the maximum distance. So in this sense, spreads are optimal codes. If we work with flags, we say that a flag code of type capital T is an optimum distance flag code if its minimum distance is exactly this value, which is uh, the maximum possible distance that we can uh, obtain for this type. Next, I will present a new characterization of optimum distance flag codes by using two special um, projected codes. Let me consider a general type vector consisting of dimensions from T1 to TR, and I will study the relative position of these dimensions with respect to the value n over. So then I will focus on these dimensions, which are the closest to n over 2, both from the left and from the right. And I call them TA and TB if they exist, because there are situations in which TB is not well defined, or TA is not defined, or uh, actually both of them can exist and be the same value in case that uh, n is an even integer and the dimension n over 2 appears in the type vector. But in general, let me consider this, this situation, which is the uh, most general one. And uh, we present the, the next result, which says that a flag code of type vector t1 to tr is an optimum distance flag code if and only if the projected codes of dimensions ta and tb have the maximum possible distance and uh, we have this equality of cardinalities for these projected codes and the whole flag code. Observe that for those type vectors in which uh, TB is not well defined, the same result still holds true for the dimension A. So if C is a um, optimum distance flag code, uh, sorry, if C is a flag code of type T1 to TR such that TB is not defined, it is an optimum distance flag code if and only if CA is uh, at least the maximum possible distance and the cardinality of TA equals the cardinality of the flag code. So this represents an improvement uh, with respect to the previous uh, known characterization of optimum distance flag codes, which depends on all the projected codes of the flag code. Moreover, we can rewrite this uh, result when we work with orbit flag codes in the following manner. If we consider an orbit flag code generated by certain flag and certain flag and certain subgroup H of the general linear group, it is an optimum distance flag code by virtue of the previous result. Even down the if this orbit constant dimension codes, the one generated by the subspace of dimension TA and the one generated by the subspace of dimension TB, attain the maximum possible distance. And this relation between subalizers for dimensions TA, TB, and the subalizer of the flag holds. Observe that this is indeed a, an equality since this subalizer is a subgroup of these two guys. So we will use uh, this result in order to present a specific um, construction of optimum distance flag code, attaining also the maximum possible size by using the action of a specific subgroup. To do so, let me recall two known results. Let's say that if C is an optimum distance flag code, and assume that some divisor k of n appears in the vector. Then the cardinality of my code c is upbounded by this quotient, which is the, the cardinality of any k spread of q to the n. And the equality holds if and only if the projected code of dimension k is a k spread. Moreover, these two conditions, the one of uh, attaining the maximum possible distance, being an optimum distance flag code, and uh, having a k spread as a projected code, lead to a restriction on the type vector, and only those satisfying this uh, um, property are admissible to our end. So the dimension k must appear in the type vector, but no dimensions between k and n minus k can appear. So in this case, we call the admissible type vector to this uh, type vector consisting in all the dimensions from one to k and from n minus k from n minus one. And in this case, Notice that the dimensions TA and TB defined uh, in the previous slides are exactly K and then minus K. Optimum distance flag codes having the maximum possible size for this type vector and for all uh, uh, satisfying this one, this, this property, were constructed in this preprint 
But now we wonder if it's possible to do it by using uh, uh, the action of certain subgroup, if we can do it, uh, if we can provide an orbit construction. And the answer is yes, we can do it, and we do the following. Observe that that construction must satisfy uh, these conditions. If we consider a flag F of the full admissible type vector, and consider a subgroup H of the inner linear group, if we want this, this orbit to be an optimum distance flag code, the projected codes of dimensions k and n minus k must attain the maximum possible distance, and this relation for the stabilizer must hold. We will do it by considering a suitable single group as follows. First of all, we consider omega primitive element of this uh, extension field with k to the k elements, and consider the companion matrix P of its minimal polynomial of um, with coefficients in the ground field of Q. Here we have a field isomorphism between these two representations of the extension field, and this uh, isomorphism in these two maps. On the one hand, a field reduction map with n uh, subspaces over the extension field into a subspaces over the ground field, and a group monomorphism by mapping invertible matrices uh, with coefficients in the extension field into block matrices with coefficients in F2. So every element here is replaced by a block matrix. We also consider the companion matrix M of a primitive polynomial of degree S, in this case, in F with coefficients in Fq to the k. The matrix has this multiplicative order and the cyclic group that it generates is called a single subgroup of this general linear group. It is well known that M and uh, any other single group of the general linear group act sensitively on both the Grassmannian of lines and the Grassmannian of hyperplanes of Fq to the k to the s, and uh, provides equal stabilizer when acting on every line and every hyperplane, and it's given by the subgroup of scalar matrices. Moreover, by using this uh, group monomorphism, we have that block matrix psi of m, which is a block matrix now with coefficients in fq, has order to the k to the s minus 1, the order of m, which is equal to k to the n minus 1, since n is equal to k times s. And the group generated by this matrix is a now a single subgroup of this other general linear group. So what we do is the following. We start from the Grassmannian of lines uh, of Fq to the k to the s, and we write it as the orbit of any line under the action of this single group. And uh, it is well known that applying the reduction to the Grassmannian of lines uh, gives us a spread of Fq to the n. In this case, this is the, field, the image under field reduction of this Grassmannian of lines, or what is the same, the field reduction image of this orbit that can be written as another orbit, in this case, the orbit of uh, L, capital L, the image under field reduction of any line, under the action of this other single group. So you obtain a spread, um, uh, an, an orbit uh, representation of this spread. So this is a constant dimension code of dimension k having the maximum possible distance. And we can do almost the same for dimension n minus k, but in this case, starting by the Grassmannian of hyperplanes. We write it as a single, as an orbit of the action uh, of this uh, single group generated by M, and uh, show that this uh, orbit, this constant dimension code, uh, is, is also a, an orbit code under the action of the same single group, and has a maximum possible distance, which, which is 2k, for the dimension n minus k. So now we suggest Answering here, this equality for the stabilizers under the action of this single group lead to this other uh, equality. So we are on conditions to construct optimum distance flat codes by using the action of this specific single group. So we suggest using facts of the full admissible type vector dimensions from one to k and from n minus k in advance, such that the subspace of dimension k is in this point s. And the subspace of dimension n minus k is here in, in calligraphic H in this orbit. Hence, we obtain an orbit flat code such that 
the, sub, the constant dimension codes of dimensions k and n minus k, so the dimensions ta and tb of the previous characterization, have the maximum possible distance and satisfying this uh, uh, property of the stabilizers. However, in general, this inclusion doesn't hold. So the orbit of any flag like this under the action of the single group is not an optimum distance in general. However, we provide, we characterize with subgroups of this single group provide optimum distance flag codes. So if we consider a subgroup capital T of this single group, and we write T to denote the order of the group capital T, uh, we prove that this orbit flag code is an optimum distance if and only if this uh, relation is satisfied by the order T of the group capital T. Moreover, for some uh, choices of the parameters, uh, considering a subgroup still gives us the maximum possible size. For instance, for this choice of the parameters, the maximum possible size for an optimum distance flag code of the full admissible type is 28, and uh, considering the subgroup of order 56 gives us this uh, orbit size. However, this is not uh, true in general. For instance, for this choice of the parameters, the maximum possible size for an optimum distance flag code of the full admissible type is this value, but the size of any orbit under the action of uh, three. Any optimum distance flag code obtained as an orbit as of a subgroup of the single group is uh, this other value, which is one over three of the maximum possible size. But it is not a big problem because in this uh, situation, we can consider the union of suitable, suitable orbits to reach the maximum possible size as follows. We prove that if we consider a subgroup of the single group having order T and satisfying this property, we consider a family of flags satisfying some properties. So we, we need that these subspaces of dimension K are all of them in the spread. And uh, these subspaces of dimension N minus K lie all of them uh, on this page and uh, in different orbits under the action of T. Then the union of, the, of these orbits is again an optimum distance flag code. And uh, um, if we choose a suitable value of M, we obtain the maximum cardinality. So that's all I wanted to tell you. These are some references that we have used to prepare our preprint. This, this one that you can find uh, on archive. And uh, thank you for your attention.